They have now promised a second and brand new carbon tax that will apply to Quebec, even though Quebec is the greenest province even uh, in the world. Now, with the support of the Bleu Québécois, the Liberals want to impose a 20 cent per litre tax on farmers, on consumers, which will increase the cost of food. Will they cancel this tax so that Quebecers can finally eat? The Honourable Minister for the Environment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think that many people are watching us today at home and they're wondering. Over the past few months, there have been record floods. There have been record tropical storms. And now we have record wildfires. Why are the Conservatives continue? Why do the Conservatives continue to be obstinate when it comes to denying climate change? Not a single question on climate change. Tens of thousands of people have had to be displaced by, by climate change. Where is the Conservatives' plan to help Canadians in order to adapt to climate change? What is nowhere is their environmental plan. They don't have an environmental plan. After eight years of raising taxes on consumers, uh, they still can't hit their targets. And they seem to suggest that if the Canadians were just forced to pay more for gas, groceries and heat, that forest fires would stop. Mr. Speaker, that is ridiculous. All that has happened is a 40-year high in food price inflation. One in five Canadians skipping meals because they can't afford food. 1.5 million going to food banks. Uh, now, Mr. Speaker, they want a 61 cent a litre carbon tax. Will they axe the tax so Canadians can afford to eat? Yeah. So, Mr. Speaker, the Conservative Party of Canada say that if they were in power, they would, they would work through technology to reduce pollution. It's Minister, for about you've got about 20 seconds left, please. Interestingly enough, Mr. Speaker, they had 10 years to do that when they were in power. My friend and colleague, the Minister of Innovation, Science and Economic Development, does more for clean technologies on an average day before for his first coffee, Mr. Speaker, than they did in 10 years. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Actually, what we did in 10 years is reduce emissions while the economy grew, which proves the following quote. I take great exception to the federal minister always forcing this into a dichotomous issue. Either you believe in exactly what we say or you don't believe in climate change. That's completely logical. It's completely false dichotomy. It's a false dilemma and it's as insulting as it is simplistic. Who said that? The Liberal Premier of Newfoundland. He says the carbon tax will bring inflationary pressures to his people. Why won't they listen to the Liberal Premier and axe the tax? Yes.